Hi kids, today we're going to be reading Christmas Eve at the Mellops by Tomi Ungara. One day in December, Mr. Mellops read an article in the newspaper about Christmas tree decorations. How he loved the festive season. With great excitement, he showed the article to his sons, Casimir, Isidore, Felix and Ferdinand. Christmas is coming, he reminded the boys. On Christmas Eve, Isidore decided to surprise his father and went into the forest to find a nice tree to decorate. Casimir had the same idea. Ferdinand too thought a tree would be a fine surprise. And so did Felix. But what are to do when they got them home? The Mellops Hall was filled with trees and tears. Oh no. Never mind, said Mr. Mellops. Why don't you see if you can give your trees away to people who don't have one yet? And when you get back, your mother and I will have a surprise waiting for you. So the brothers went out into the snow. First, they decided to visit the orphanage. When they, when they arrived at the orphanage, all the little children were singing happily around a huge Christmas tree. Thank you very much, the orphans sang in harmony, but one tree is all we need. So the Mellops set off for the hospital. There too, the patients were cheerfully admiring their Christmas trees. Thank you, the patients coughed and croaked, but we have more trees than beds. Next, the Mellops went to the prison. Even there, the inmates were celebrating. Thank you, one prisoner mumbled sleepily, but I don't think there's room in here for more than me and one tree. The soldiers at the town barracks were opening their gifts beside a glittering tree. Thank you, they cried merrily, but we have just finished decorating our tree. Feeling dejected, the Mellops brothers hung their heads. Everyone has a Christmas tree already, they said. But just as they were about to give up and throw away the trees, they came across a little girl who was weeping quietly. She told the brothers that she lived with her poor grandmother who was very sick, and she led them to her house. In another room of that same house, they found an old soldier shivering in his wheelchair. Two frightened children huddled alone in the attic, and a lonely old lodger moped in his room. This is where our trees are needed, the boys shouted. Isidore rushed home to, grather, to gather warm clothes and blankets for the people he had just met. Felix emptied his people banks to buy them presents and medicine. People banks, because <laughs> they're biggies. Casimir chopped wood in the forest to heat the house. Ferdinand filled a cart full of good things to eat from the grocer. The Mellops boys brought Christmas to every room in that house. Singing carols, the brothers made their way home, very pleased with themselves. Meanwhile, Mr. Mellops brought all the boys' presents up from the cellar where they were hidden. Mrs. Mellops decorated the family tree with shining glass balls, sugar cookies and pretzels, tiny little toys and a marzipan sausage for the dog. When the boys came home, they were met by a wonderful sight. With cries of delight, they opened each gift. Afterwards, Mrs. Mellops brought in a beautiful cream cake. This has been the most wonderful Christmas Eve, announced Mr. Mellops happily. I am so proud of all of you. And what's more, I think we've learned a very important lesson. There is no such thing as too many Christmas trees. That was a very good book. They went and helped that family and they would have had the best Christmas ever, I reckon. All right, time for me to go to bed now. Hope you all have a good night, kids, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!